Hey everyone, Tom with TK Designs here. Hope everyone had a wonderful Thanksgiving dinner and got to spend lots of time with your loved ones. At this video, I'm bringing you three projects that I made from a scrap piece of walnut that I had that I had originally made for another project. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how I made this uh, whiskey flight, bottle opener, and a margarita glass rimmer with cutting board surface for your lines. So stick with me and let's get at it after the break. Okay, so we are going to try to get uh, three projects onto one piece of wood that's about uh, 20 inches wide, 12 inches high, and about an inch thick. Uh, I use millimeters for all of my calculations, so 531, 304, and 23 are the measurements that I have in millimeters. We'll go ahead and set that up. And the first of our projects is going to be a margarita glass rimmer. Uh, I'm going to make this one with the salt rimmer and add on a cutting board for your limes. So I'm going to start with a circle of about... Uh, a diameter of uh, five and a half inches which is 139.7 millimeters and we'll go ahead and create that and we'll get that lined up towards the top of our sheet That will be the outside rim because the average margarita glass is about four and a half inches across. Next, we're going to in or offset that vector on the inside by about half a millimeter, or not half a millimeter, a uh, half an inch, so about uh, twelve point seven millimeters. offset that on the inside and then inside of that we'll offset that by another two inches or, or roughly uh, 50 millimeters actually let's let's make that more like uh, 30 millimeters there we go that'll give us our center area our salt will go in here next I'm going to add a circle or I'm sorry a uh, rectangle I'm going to do a radius external of about uh, 20 millimeters and my width I'm going to set at about 12 inches So that's about 304.8 millimeters. Uh, height will go with um, about five and a half inches. In millimeters, that's 304.8 and 139.7. Turn that. Cause that should be that way. And then I'm going to drag this basically to where they intersect towards the middle. And we're going to go in and we're going to snip the vectors and basically give ourselves. Inside of there, I'm going to make a cutting board area, and this one I'm going to freehand. And go roughly there. And 
drag that over where it's going to intersect. Actually, we want to leave that there. I'm going to offset this vector on the outside this time by about 20 millimeters. And the reason I'm doing that is so that I can create a rounded portion here. So I'm going to slide that in to where it intersects. Then again we're going to go with the snipping tool and we're going to snip out the excess parts of the vector. And now what we've got is an offset that's a little bit off of our uh, rimmer. So as far as design goes, that should be good. Okay, for our next project, I'm going to do a shot flight. So we're going to go with a, another vector. some rounded corners there. And this time I'm going to put space for four shot, gla or shot glasses. Uh, this time our width is going to be uh, about 50 millimeters and a height of 50 millimeters. Because the, the base of, I have square uh, shot glasses that are going to go with this. The base will be uh, about two millimeters more than the size of the bottom of the glass. Oh, hold on, let's undo that because that was that shape. I actually wanted to go inside of there and do a 50 by 50. And I don't like the radius on that, so we're actually going to knock the radius down on that to about 5 millimeters. That's better. And we'll get rid of that vector there. And what we'll do is get that aligned on the side there. Okay, so now that we've got our spot for our tray, or for our shot glass, we're going to do an array copy. We're going to do four across, and we're going to space these out at one inch. So we'll go ahead and space those out. And then let's... Try to align those to where they're centered. And there we go. And then for our third object, we're going to do a beer bottle shaped bottle opener. So for this, we're going to import a vector. And I have some beer bottle shapes that I've gotten from Creative Fabrica with. Uh, my subscription. I'm going to open that up. We've got our bottle. And it's actually actually pretty good size there, so we'll go ahead and put that there. Now what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to actually make a space for that, for the actual bottle opener attachment, which is a 45 millimeter diameter circle. 
we're going to go ahead and create that circle. And we're going to drag that to the beer bottle. Then we're going to offset that inside by about three millimeters. That'll give us a, a lip for the for the bottle opener attachment to set on. And now we've got all of our shapes. So next what we're going to do is create our tool paths. Okay, so for our first vet or first tool path, let's go ahead and do our rimmer. For this, I'm going to use a pocket tool path. And for the pocket, I'm going to use my bowl bit. I have the Amana 45982 bowl bit, which is a, a three quarter inch bowl bit. We'll go ahead and select that. <coughs> and what we'll do is we'll go about a quarter inch deep on that. That's 12.7 millimeters. And we'll call that rimmer pocket. Go ahead and calculate that out. And there's what our pocket will look like. Go back over to our 2D view. For the cutting board portion, I'm going to do another or in this case, a profile tool path. And I've got a half inch uh, box core bit that I'll do. Same tool that I use for doing my juice grooves on cutting boards. Uh, we'll go about an eighth inch deep there. So that's gonna be about, or I'm sorry, uh, quarter inch will go 6.35 millimeters. We'll call that the juice groove. And calculate that. And our juice groove is. One eighth of an inch deep. Actually, now that I'm looking at that, I think we reset the previews and look at the rimmer pocket instead of using this ring oh yeah actually we are going to use that ring never mind I'll stick with that uh, last cut we will need to do will be oh, actually I'm going to have to go fix that vector Okay, so what I realized is that uh, whenever I made the design, I didn't join these vectors. So I need to go back and trim this vector and join it to the outside vector. So we're just going to cut that, make sure that we rejoin trimmed sectors automatically, and click close. So now we have a full vector. So now 
We can go back to our tool paths and we can do a profile path. And this time we're going to go the full 23 millimeter depth. But for our tool, we're going to be using a quarter inch down cut bit or up cut bit. And I actually have the hog that I'm going to use for that. Not going to go the full depth on that, but we'll go ahead and select that. And what we will do is we will edit this only here and make our pass depth a quarter inch. And I'm going to go about 50 and 50 for the feed rate and the plunge rate. Uh, I am going to add a ramp to the tool path. We're going to give it about a 50 millimeter distance. And we are going to add tabs around at a length of... 12 millimeters and thickness of 5 and we'll make those 3D tabs and we're going to call that Rimmer Profile Go ahead and calculate that and we're okay with this error because we do want it to cut all the way through. So we're going to have to go back and edit the tabs. And let's put four tabs, avoiding our curves, and add them in. And we should have tabs in four locations here. We'll close that and we will go ahead and calculate it. And again our error is okay because we intend to cut all the way through. So let's look at our first project here. And there we'll have our glass rimmer. Now let's go ahead and do the shot flight. We'll start with selecting our uh, shot glass positions and we'll do a pocket tool path we're going to do one eighth of an inch deep so that it's not super deep uh, going to use Our, our hog cutting bit again and this time I don't think we need to adjust the parameters hopefully not uh, we will use a climb tool path and we'll call that shot flight Shot glass pocket. 
go ahead and calculate that. And let's take a look. All right, looks pretty good. Now we'll do a profile path. And we're going to go all the way down again. We are going to add a ramp of 50 millimeters. We will add our tabs. And we'll go with four tabs again. Actually, I want to make sure we go outside the vector on that, so. Name it Shot Flight Profile. Go ahead and calculate that. And again, no problem with the error there. And if we go around our edge, there we go. shot flight is good to go and we'll move on to our final project which is our beer bottle shaped beer bottle opener so first we're going to do a pocketing tool path and we're going to go a 1.5 millimeter depth to get this outside. Fill out a bottle opener pocket. We can go ahead and use our hog roughing bit for that. we're not going to go very deep. Oh. Doesn't like that, so hold on. Let's change that. We'll go a millimeter and a half, millimeter and a half there. There we go. And then we can go to our inner path and make another pocketing tool path. This time we're going to go three millimeters deep. This is going to give us a, a little bit of a clear out for the uh, bottle opener device itself that's going to be installed there. We're going to call that bottle opener clear out. We'll calculate that. And there we have it. And then our final tool path will be a profiling tool path outside. Uh, we are going to go with tabs edit four, or add four. And we are going to ramp into that by 50 millimeters and we'll call that bottle opener profile. And again, we're not worried about the depth because we want it to go to 23. That's the thickness of our material. And there we go. That should do it for our tool paths for the most part. I do want to change the rimmer profile pass because I think we put that on the line or we really want to go on the outside of the line. 
and recalculate that. And now we should be good to go. So now we can select all of our toolpaths and export those. Actually, hold on a second, let me align these so that we have our profile cuts as our last three cuts. will be our first two toolpaths so that should be good now we can export these we are going to use all the visible toolpaths to one file because I do have the tool changer and we'll go ahead and save our toolpaths and then we'll go down to the CNC and get these cut
Okay, so after getting the parts assembled and getting a coat of wax and mineral oil on these, they turned out pretty good. So there's our whiskey flight. Our bottle opener. Did a little bit of laser work on that as well. And our margarita glass rimmer, which I also did a little bit of laser work on. So in total, the run or, or the uh, milling time was about 20 minutes, and uh, everything looks like it turned out pretty well. I liked that I used the bowl bits, so I had a pretty clean, good cleanup job, and uh, it was pretty fast to cut. So thanks for watching. I hope everyone has a happy Thanksgiving, and we'll catch you the next time around. Here's some other videos I think you might like.